Hi, and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe what's meant by water of crystallization. You should then be able to calculate the value of the water of crystallization. Now, in chemistry, we're used to dealing with simple ionic compounds, for example, sodium chloride and potassium iodide. In both of these cases, the compounds form a giant crystal lattice, like the one I'm showing you here. I'm showing you here another ionic compound. This is called hydrated calcium sulfate. As you can see, this compound is different to the other two. Crystals of this compound contain water molecules bonded into the crystal structure. Scientists call this water of crystallization. Water of crystallization is shown by the dot in the formula. So what this formula tells us is that the crystal contains two molecules of water for every calcium sulfate. Scientists call compounds like this hydrated compounds because they contain water of crystallization. Now, if we heat hydrated compounds, then we can break the bonds holding the water molecules into the crystal. This drives the water molecules off as steam. We're now left with the anhydrous compound, and the word anhydrous means that it does not contain water of crystallization. I'm showing you a different hydrated compound here, but in this case, the number of water molecules is represented by the letter X. Now, in the exam, you could be asked to determine the value of the water of crystallization for an example like this. There are several different ways to do this. Here's a typical question. Hydrated magnesium sulfate has a relative formula mass of 246.4 grams per mole. Determine the value of X. OK, now in this question, we know that the relative formula mass of the hydrated compound is 246.4 grams per mole. So that includes both the magnesium sulfate and the water. Using the periodic table, we can calculate the relative formula mass of the magnesium sulfate without the water. Magnesium has a relative atomic mass of 24.3. Sulfur has a relative atomic mass of 32.1. Oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16.0, and there are four oxygen atoms. Adding these together gives us a relative formula mass of 120.4 grams per mole for the magnesium sulfate. We know that the hydrated compound has a relative formula mass of 246.4 grams per mole. If we subtract the relative formula mass of the magnesium sulfate, then this will give us the mass of water molecules present in the hydrated compound. This gives us a mass of water of 126.0. Now we can calculate the number of molecules of water. Each water molecule has a relative molecular mass of 18.0 grams per mole. Dividing the total mass of water by 18.0 tells us that we've got seven molecules of water per magnesium sulfate. In other words, the value of X is seven. Coming up, I'll give you some questions to try yourself. Okay, here's a question for you. Hydrated sodium carbonate has a relative formula mass of 286.0 grams per mole. Determine the value of X. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to determine the relative formula mass of sodium carbonate without any water molecules present. Using the relative atomic masses from the periodic table, we can calculate the relative formula mass of sodium carbonate to be 106.0 grams per mole. Subtracting 106.0 from 286.0 gives us a mass of 180.0 for the water molecules. As we saw before, water has a relative molecular mass of 18.0 grams per mole. Dividing 180.0 by 18.0 tells us that we've got 10 water molecules, so the value of X is 10. OK, here's a final question for you. Hydrated nickel chloride has a relative formula mass of 237.7 grams per mole. Determine the value of X. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, first we need to determine the relative formula mass of nickel chloride without the water molecules present. Using the relative atomic masses from the periodic table, we can calculate the relative formula mass of nickel chloride to be 129.7 grams per mole. Subtracting 129.7 from 237.7 gives us a mass of 108.0 for the water molecules. Water molecules have a relative molecular mass of 18.0 grams per mole. Dividing 108.0 by 18.0 tells us that we've got six water molecules, 
so the value of x is 6. In the next video, we look at how to determine the water of crystallization by heating. <laughs>